Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to configure Wiz Toolbox, the mobile version. In this video, you will learn how to configure the LoRa 1 and LoRa P2P parameters of your IoT device. Send AT commands, create and apply templates and sync all your information with the cloud using Rack ID, all on your mobile phone. First, you need to download and install Wiz Toolbox. You need to agree on terms and then allow permission for Bluetooth connection. Next step is to log in using Rack ID. You can create an account if you do not have one. After successful login with Rack ID, you can click Connect Device. Wiz Toolbox will search for the device. Click the link icon. Data will start to be passed from the cloud as well as the current configuration of the device. If the device can be searched, you have to restart the device. It is only active in BLE in a few seconds. After the syncing process, you'll see device details. Then click on parameters and see different parameters and update it if needed. Once done with modifications, click apply. If all is successful, you'll see a note, else you have to try again. We can also save these configurations as templates and create unique identity names for them. This will be synced to the cloud. Let's explore advanced mode now. Click on open console. This will allow us to read and send AT commands directly. There is also a shortcut for all available AT commands. Going back again to the device info, you can try to upload the firmware. You'll see here the official and custom firmware that you can upload. These must be in a zip file. Now on the Templates tab, you can directly create the template. You have to select the device to use. Then you can start doing the configurations for that template. Wiz Toolbox allows you to scan the dev EUI of the device itself, so no manual typing is needed. Then now you have a template. You can also experiment with cloud syncing of the template. Another thing that is good about the template is the grouping and filtering. To disconnect your device, scroll down to the last option in the device section and select disconnect device. Confirm the disconnection and your device will be disconnected from Wiz Toolbox. Configuring your IoT devices is really easy and fast from your phone. We hope this video helped you learn more about configuring IoT devices. Leave your comments if you have any questions or do let us know what you think. For more details, please refer to our Waste Toolbox documentation. The link will be in the description of this video down below.